Good night guys, it's Emulator Showdown, back again with a new Citra version for you guys. This version has cheats, so let's see if it's also faster. We start off with the mega popular Pokemon Moon. I'm playing on 3.3 GHz processor clock speed, so this is somewhat the FPS you could expect around this clock speed. When we compare the FPS for both versions, we see an average of 3 or 4 FPS improvement on the new version. Next we got Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, again this is on 3.3 GHz, the FPS difference is a bit less but there is still an improvement on the new version. 45 FPS in big cities is not bad, in other parts of the game it will be much faster, so it's pretty playable for people with this clock speed. For my next comparison I chose Little Battler's Experience. As you can see there is a huge difference in speed between those two versions. And that's why mom hates those little robots so much. Cause if it wasn't for LBX, dad would still be with us. But mom, I wish you could understand. When I play with an LBX, I feel a connection to dad. After all, he's the one who invented them. The last game is Yokai Watch 2. Not 1, but 2. This game also improved, but the FPS is not really super smooth, even for the new version. If you don't mind the slow gameplay, you can still give it a try. When I put my processor clock speed on 2.7 GHz, the speed drops around 7 or 8 FPS. But again, like in Alpha Sapphire, cities are much harder for the emulator, so if it's around 45 FPS, it's actually still pretty playable overall. So that is a great news. On Alpha Sapphire it's kind of the same story as Pokemon Moon. When downclocking from 3.3 to 2.7 GHz, Citra loses around 7 or 8 FPS. But again, this is one of the harder places for Citra to emulate, so overall it's still pretty playable.
With this we come to the end of another Citra version. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Thanks for your support and I wish you all a great 2017.